The Earth is such a nurturing and life-giving planet. It allows millions of species to live and thrive in its various ecosystems. However, the Earth doesn't come without its perils. There are numerous natural disasters that cause massive destruction and even extinction. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries. Scientists predict a mega tsunami may devastate eastern US coastline. One of the most feared attributes of a tsunami is its unpredictability. Being primarily caused by an earthquake, tsunamis don't come with warnings except for the short window of time after an earthquake happens. According to scientists' projections, there will be a mega tsunami that will probably cause some serious devastation in the eastern coastline of the United States. Whilst no one knows when it will actually happen, what we do know about this looming natural disaster is that the mega tsunami will be caused by the eruption of a huge volcano called Cumbre Vieja in the Canary Islands. Scientists predict that the tsunami wave brought by the eruption will be way more massive than any tsunami wave recorded in the past. We may not know the exact date of when this will happen, but what we know for certain is that it is indeed bound to happen in the future. Based on the advanced model created by Simon Day of the University of College London and Stephen Ward of the University of California, this mega tsunami would cause waves as high as 100 meters along the West Saharan shore and waves as high as 40 meters on the north coast of Brazil and water walls towering 50 meters in the air off the coast of Florida and in the Caribbean. Aside from the massive waves, scientists also predict that an area of the Cumbre Vieja will collapse which will create a huge landslide in the volcano's western side. The volcanic eruption will be so disruptive that the volcano itself will be severely deformed. According to Day's projections, a huge piece of rock with twice the volume of the Isle of Man, which has an area of 572 square kilometers located between Great Britain and Ireland, will probably fall off and create a debris avalanche extending up to 60 kilometers from the island. According to the forecast created by Day and his team, Cumbre Vieja's collapse would cause the seawater to rise as high as 900 meters and tens of kilometers in width. As this massive water collapses and rebounds, huge waves would be formed, intensified by what is called a tsunami wave train. In a span of 10 minutes, this tsunami would travel about 250 kilometers. Day and his team released a message for the public not to panic at this time. If anything, this gives people that are close to the danger zone some comfort. He said, Eruptions of Cumbre Vieja occur at intervals of decades to a century or so, and there may be a number of eruptions before its collapse. Although the year-to-year -year probability of a collapse is therefore low, the resulting tsunami would be a major disaster with indirect effects around the world. Mega Tsunami 170 meters high once smashed into Cape Verde. One of the largest mega tsunamis recorded in geological history happened some 73,000 years ago. The report of this was published on Science Advances in October 2015, which states that the mega tsunami was caused by a huge flank of Fogo, a volcano in Cape Verde, which splashed into the sea. This splash caused a massive tsunami as high as 170 meters. The waves flooded the nearby Cape Verde Islands, we know that tsunamis are mainly caused by earthquakes. However, not many people know that tsunamis can also be caused by other things such as huge chunks of debris falling into a body of water. Another example is an asteroid impacting one of our seas. Both of these scenarios can cause a catastrophic mega tsunami. Flanks of oceanic volcanoes collapse periodically. Massive rocks sliding down cause the water to move until a tsunami is formed. Mega tsunamis are more common than you think, with the most recent happening in 2020 at Elliott Creek, British Columbia in Canada. This is an example of a tsunami that was formed due to the displacement of water caused by a landslide. On November 28, 2020, an extreme amount of rainfall triggered a massive landslide into the glacial lake in Elliott Creek. The mega tsunami was 100 meters high and it covered a distance of 60 kilometers. 
Fortunately, there has not been a mega tsunami that has hit any major cities in the last century. Fortunately, when the Cape Verde mega tsunami happened 73,000 years ago, there were no known human civilizations in existence. Canary Island Tsunami, one of the biggest ever. Let's go back even further in time and talk about the mega tsunami that happened sometime between 160,000 and 170,000 years ago in Mount Tiede on the island of Tenerife. Volcanic eruptions are predicted not only through underground scales and seismic models, but also through its history. By keeping records of volcanic eruptions in the past, we can more accurately predict when it's most likely to erupt again. So let us dive in and see how this mega tsunami in the Canary Islands transpired. Luis Ignacio González de Vallejo of the Complutense University of Madrid led the study on this mega tsunami that many believe to be the biggest ever. He and his team conducted research to uncover what happened on that day. According to the data gathered, the mega tsunami was caused by a massive volcanic eruption which created waves that were about 150 meters high. The volcanic eruption created a rapid avalanche of huge rocks with a speed of up to 320 miles per hour. These waves were about the same height as the Washington Monument. A tsunami of this size could cause catastrophic damage and casualties. However, the statement made by the head of the study provides assurance that something like this is not likely to happen, at least not in the next few hundred years. González de Vallejo said, The geological future is another story. And the sites of La Palma and Tenerife, which are the most vertical, will see new landslides within tens of thousands of years. In addition, there are other studies proving that the Canary Island volcano's major collapses happen in timescales of hundreds of thousands of years. Any catastrophic collapse that could potentially cause a mega tsunami would be preceded by signs of flank stability, earthquakes, and ground deformation. As of recently, slope stability analysis shows stability. The volcanoes would have to grow significantly before a collapse was likely. People, especially those living close to a coastline, should be aware that a fatal tsunami is not only caused by an earthquake but also by volcanic collapses. Awareness is key and knowledge saves lives. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.